we got here? So new for uh, Series 11, we've got this. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited personally about this, the Ranger Raptor. So Ford's decided to take the really successful F-150 Raptor and do everything they did to the F-150, but to a Ranger for the non-American markets where you need a slightly smaller truck. That um, doesn't look small. No, by making it a Raptor, they make it a lot bigger <laughs> as well. So but, it's quite a big but truck. That's not the biggest truck we're going to see on the show, is it? It's not. No, it's we'll, not. Get, we'll get to that but later. The Ranger already one of the largest cars you see on British roads. Pretty yeah. <laughs> so this is, I think, 150 millimeters wider. Um, it's got the Fox suspension from the Raptor, so that's got um, spool shocks in it, which is a really neat bit of kit. Um, Two-liter diesel, just it's a really great truck. I really it want sounds one. like you've been studying the brochure. I was going to say yeah. I have yeah. been on the online <laughs> configurator. <laughs> it's completely pointless for the UK because it's got like Baja mode and stuff like that. But, What's uh, Baja mode? Uh, for driving Baja. Oh obviously. right, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you do in Baja mode? <laughs> So yeah, it's a really cool truck. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's out very soon in Europe. I think Australia might have it already. Right, right, so you could probably cool. drive it. Your, your check from Ford is no, no doubt in the post. <laughs> <laughs> no, can they just send me the Ranger Raptor? <laughs> yes. <clears throat> okay. Um, so. What else have we got? Uh, we've also yeah, drooling over that one. Are we done? Yeah. Do you want? Okay, do you want to? You, you've got a, a fact on this one, haven't you? Oh yes, yeah, it's, it's the car from the uh, Old Town Road video. <laughs> Not as fast as a horse. <laughs> uh, there's, uh, so this. The, that horse part. Yeah, the uh, Impala Super Sport. Less than one. <laughs> yeah, less than one. Just a less um, than one. It's, I guess it's that uh, stereotypical uh, like Amer 90s American cop car look. Mm. Uh, and uh, yes, there is an upgrade for you, so uh, you'll be able to uh, chuck a livery on that and. Uh, the relevant accessories and have some fun but uh, yeah so the the impala name is uh, is incredibly famous uh, in america and uh, uh, legendary this one from the 90s it's uh, it's pretty cool it had like limited slip diff still big v8 uh, it's like a sort of big four-door muscle car mm. uh, I, I think that's really cool and apparently it's uh, quite a fan favorite as well so uh, yeah yeah plenty of requests for that one uh primarily for the cop car thing so you got that and now the crown and the crown vic as well so yeah there you go of american Cop cars there. I'm sure people are going to be making some uh, pretty mm. sweet videos of that. Yes, looking yeah. forward to seeing some of those. So, yeah, that's, that's an awesome one. Really pleased to have that. Mm -hmm. The uh, Diberti Wrangler. Yeah, so it's another one from the Diberti Brothers. Uh, another one of their awesome creations. So this is a Hellcat-powered Jeep Wrangler. Um, it's it's absolutely awesome. It's incredible off-road, this thing. Um, a huge because amount of suspension travel. We had a shortage of Hellcat-powered Jeeps you already. Cannot, you cannot have a shortage of Hellcat-powered yeah. cars. So it's another 700 horsepower Jeep. Uh, that looks awesome. Also not the biggest truck. No. No, no that we still have bigger. But it probably does have the most stars and the most stripes uh, across absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There you go. Fact. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> uh, moving on again, the uh, Koenigs ACCX. So this was the first one that they uh, put their own engine in. Mm -hmm. uh, previously, it had a uh, Ford engine in, and uh, I think it ended up being an emissions thing. I'm not sure uh, that they ended up developing their own engine yeah. to put in the Koenigs eggs. Uh, oh, it's only 800 horsepower. I mean, A92, isn't it? Yeah, uh, oh. not too much. Yeah. Um, they obviously went on to do the 1,000 horsepower mm. CCX-R, but this is the slightly earlier one. But the one we have, more Top Gear tie into it, this is the one famous for the Top Gear rear wing that they put on it after the Stig. Yeah, yeah. there was the, the fantastic picture of it sort of eating a tyre yeah. uh, <laughs> after he'd accidentally uh, had a bit of a moment. I think on, was it follow through quarter as no, well? No, it was before was it? follow through, wasn't it? Well, I'm sure that yeah. came later. <laughs> 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 you know. Um, and the uh, MP412C, or just the 12C, so this is uh, McLaren's uh, first car is as a as a proper car manufacturer, like, I suppose, the second go of it. Yes, yeah, so this one, uh, kind of, this is the beginnings of the modern era McLaren. Um, mentioned this one on the last stream as well, big fan favourite, um, a lot of people want yeah, I know, I certainly have. Uh, a brand new Horizon Story, uh, located here, and this Ooh. is the Top Gear Horizon Special. So this is something that I, I think we've been I've been talking about this for the longest time. Yeah, you can inter yeah. internally you have talked about little else. I know it's, it's gotten to the point where it's al almost unbearable. I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, the word came down that we were going to do this. Uh, we went uh, to London. We met the BBC. We met the Top Gear team. Uh, we're in recording sessions with uh, Chris Harris, who voices it, uh, built it with some entirely new gameplay, some absolutely fantastic cars. Um, so I'm uh, I am so glad that this.
night. The Stig drives some very fast farm equipment, I hail a taxi, and finishing with something that I'm reliably informed is a bit of a fan favorite around here. Uh, some of the interim chapters. So uh, they're all references to uh, kind of Top Gear style fun and Top Gear style stunts. I think uh, my my f second favourite one is Edinburgh Afternoon Drive, which is uh, the Stig trying to outrun the Bells. Uh, okay, it's an interesting one. Uh, a race around uh, Edinburgh. Uh, maybe they'll pick it up on the Forza Monthly, which is cool. coming up after this. But I think the one that we should definitely take a look at is. This one. Alrighty. Here we go. I told you we'd finish the fans' favourite, favorite. and here it is. No, not the lorry. The thing on the back, under the tarp. You'll love it. But first, we need to move it into position. Thankfully, we have our very own haulage expert, a trucker's truck. No load too large. Yes, it's big rig stick. Right, now take it easy, Stig. That's some expensive cargo you have back there. Costs as much as a house. And weighs about the same, too. Okay. Okay, so this, this is a very realistic truck. It's like 300 miles an hour. But it weighs what's, nine and a half tons, I What's think? MPG on this? Uh, <laughs> two. <laughs> it's gallons per mile. Yeah. I was about to say, I mean, that speed. I must admit, the chat definitely seems to be uh, loving it right now, so mm. I can't wait to, to see people oh, complete yes. the stories. Yes. So this yeah, is the biggest right. truck, but it's yep. not the truck. <laughs> no, the truck. Uh, has anyone in the comments guessed it yet, actually? What? Uh, uh, shape under the top. Uh, I'm about to say, chat, do you guys have any idea of what could be under the, the cloth itself? And it is moving ever oh, so slightly good. as well. Isn't it? I know it's very yeah. nice uh, yeah. that they added that actually. I quite like that. Okay, yeah, okay, careful with oh, this corner, Mike. This thing doesn't stop. Ridiculously Ooh, large amount truck. of time to do. <laughs> oh, Ooh, oh, very nice. Truck rolling That's on really the back done. as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Look at that. Are you a truck driver in spare time, Mike? Uh, it, is an, it is an aspiration of mine, actually. <laughs> I, always, I always fancied a bit of a. Uh, Pro truck driving. Oh, I should be you driving. I am one of those yeah. like Euro truck simulator guys. Yeah, and Andy's uh, got a thing with Euro truck simulator. Oh yeah. You? If you're gonna do it, do it properly. You gotta have the gear shifter and all sorts. Mm. Of the... Don't judge me. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> it's okay. So an interesting one. Uh, this was actually originally a uh, like a damage drive. Uh, deliver it without getting it damaged. But we realised it was just so much fun when you like accidentally nudge a car and it's like, <laughs> <laughs> it just moves. <laughs> or decide to take it across the countryside. Nine and a half tons versus a Ford Fiesta. <laughs> so I, I think monster a good chance would be like, what, how, how big a skill chain could you get in this? Room? <laughs> uh, because I think so far I've managed 100. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon if you take it, if you were to take it straight across country towards uh, the destination, you might get above 100. Can so anybody? Can it's not a challenge, Mike. Right? Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Can uh, you get an ultimate air? That's what that's this. it. <laughs> Go for a PR stunt. Uh, someone did guess something. They said a car. Ah. I mean, ah. I mean, ah. that's it's more truck-like than car, but yes. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. Okay. That's true. Um, I'm trying to see a bit of chat. I'm not too sure if anyone's got it just yet. Are you ready for but, uh, this? But there's been quite a few guesses. Is this where we reveal it? Yes, this is it. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. I wonder if you got three I think stars. it's a bouncy castle. <laughs> just, just, let's just go past cast. That does Swimming match pool. Horizon Fun, yeah. <laughs> Here it goes. Build crash. <laughs> <laughs> How would you say that? <laughs> there it is. There we go. There it is. Six by six. It's the ultimate off-roader. A four-ton, six-wheel sports utility truck. Basically, a G wagon with the back half of a pickup thrown in for free. <laughs> back of a pickup thrown in. So, possibly the most requested car, Chris? Yeah, I mean, we've been getting requests for this since I think Horizon 2. Yeah. Um, since, since Hammond threw it around. Pretty much, yeah, yeah. since Top Gear yeah. test drove it, so it's fitting for it to, to be returning to Top Gear. Oh, someone call air traffic control. I'm pretty sure you need a special license to fly one of these. Torben, a slight variant on a on yes, type. Yes, uh, there's a, an entirely new uh, uh, gameplay type in this, which we call multi destination. Basically, uh, think of it like an assault course. It challenges you to reach destinations in a row. No cheeky cheating and going directly to the endpoint. With all of the wheels comes all of the grid. The oh, look at that. Mm. Nice. 
I think the short answer is there isn't anything it can't conquer. I bet, I bet I could find something in here that's recorded. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not a challenge. <laughs> Are you sure about it? Uh, uh, no, there, there, the there are like some vertical concrete walls and tunnels that I don't think it will do <laughs> particularly well with. <laughs> Better some tunnels it doesn't fit in. Um, <coughs> yes. No, I do. Do you see the chat uh, enjoying that, enjoying the reveal? Oh, that's great. I feel like this is going to be very, very fun to drive around. It is. It's just, uh, just uh, you know, throw it across the across the mainland. Mm. Yeah, it feels like my dream uh, playground games vehicle as well. <laughs> I think. Uh, just seeing how easily it took everything in the 4x4 park there. Yes. Though, do you remember we were complaining about the size of the Ranger Raptor earlier? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't believe I've ever seen one of these on British roads. No. <laughs> so, guys, should we uh, continue to show a little bit more of those Top Gear cars? Let's do that. Let's definitely do that. Okay, so... Uh, Favourites. There we go. Which one we're going to go so for first? I feel like it's got to be the tractor since we're. <coughs> of course. Do okay. you want to just call out this one, guys? I think you mentioned it in person. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. So this is a car uh, built by one of the Top Gear magazine top journalists. Top Gear magazine yeah. team, yeah. Um, it's a uh, Mercedes E Series, um, all terrain tires, um, awesome roof racks. It's kind of just, I think he designed it for going bear shooting, but as a uh, photography, photography yes. uh, um, in in <laughs> Russia. Thanks for clarifying. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> um, but it's like a really weird blend of, of an incredibly luxurious car that's also just like the, the biggest all-terrain monster. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a really cool concept. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. And I think it maybe has the record for the longest <coughs> name in our game. This yeah, probably beating the Lamborghini. Yes, uh, the three, the E three fifty D formatic all-terrain all project E eight. Come on, guys, we haven't got that long. <laughs> <laughs> go We've got to wrap, go wrap yeah. up before the photo. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the tractor. Yeah. Uh, now, guys, you can actually have a tractor without modding the game. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Please don't do that. Uh, <laughs> but yes, uh, this looks fantastic. I'm actually super excited <laughs> to drive around in it. I mean, why not? You yeah. know, I it's mean, who doesn't want to drive around in a Top Gear tractor? That's it. It, it was definitely the, uh, one of the, my <laughs> favourite <laughs> <laughs> things of, uh, of that series of Top Gear. Uh, oh, oh, it's just <laughs> crazy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. This is brilliant. I love, the, I love the fact that we've just got this in game. Oh, he's going to get away. No. <coughs> Black sheep. <laughs> so, is this one of the Horizon Story missions? Uh, to go and some sheep? Uh, no. Uh, there, the story mission that relates to this is actually smashing a speed record. Oh, oh wow. of course. Yes. Because this, uh, this was record. the world's fastest tractor. Yes. Yeah. And we'll try and uh, better that record in, in the Horizon. I said we need to reclaim it for Top Gear, mm. as yeah. it's uh, recently been overtaken. One of our local oh. UK lads, Guy Martin, just beat it. Was it last week? It was very recently, yeah. Uh, I think it was the last couple of weeks. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you'll have to uh, get on that for us. <laughs> uh, some people are asking, by the way, speaking about Top Gear, mm. can we drive the lorry in free roam? OK. Uh, so a little peek behind. Now. Uh, the, yeah, this yeah, one with the uh, crazy yeah. name. Okay. Yes. I also love the colour of this thing. Mm. Kind of bronzy colour is really nice. When I was uh, doing research into this, uh, I discovered uh, really interesting facts about it, like, for example, the the fact that it's got chargers inside it, built into like a, uh, uh, a well in the back of it where you can charge cameras and iPads charge. and laptops. Oh, wow. And yeah. Basically, Handy. stuff you need for a road trip. Exactly. <laughs> I think one so of someone's my been reading the brochure again, I see. <laughs> one of my, uh, <laughs> my favourite things on if you pan around. You get a chrome gear stick. <laughs> <laughs> if you pan around the car, Mike. Uh, I'm in the car, so I'm going to no. stop before I do that. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if you can just see, there's a spoiler on the front of it. Oh, yeah. And that's to try and divert air over the roof rack to stop whistling, because <laughs> roof racks tend to whistle. Yes. Doesn't work, apparently. Uh, it still whistles really badly, but... But now it has downforce. Now it has downforce on the roof rack. Which <laughs> 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 is like, exactly what you it's want. It's OK, yeah. you tried. <laughs> it's got aerials, so you'll always be able to get radio no matter where you are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, They're very long. The awesome <laughs> radio <laughs> station, yeah, just yes. even, even on mainland. <laughs> Not this song again. I must admit, it's kind of luxurious inside. Mm. Oh, it's yeah. yeah it's I mean, if you're going to do like a, a transcontinental road trip, this thing's perfect for it. Yeah. It, it. You do get the feel that that is what they were thinking yeah. when they built it. Kind of thing that would be absolutely lovely to drive 
into a <laughs> Russian forest. Yeah, and I think the amazing thing for me as well, the suspension on this is, it's the exact same suspension that it comes with stock, but mm -hmm. with some electronic tweaks because it's air suspension to get mm -hmm. it a bit higher. Mm -hmm. But the air suspension is so good on the base car that it works really well off-road. Mm. Um, we're actually properly simulating the air suspension on this too. So it gets a bit stiffer as uh, mm -hmm. it compresses, things like that. Oh, where Whoa. are we going, Mike? Tree Dodging Simulator 2019, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing it very well. Oh, no, I'll wait. Whoa. Oh, no, no, no. Directly at the see, this, this is why I'm a big proponent for free run rush, you see, because I love this. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, doing remote? Yeah. Yeah. This is my jam. Yeah. 